What's up everybody? Gabe Spencer, another edition of The Scattered Chef. I know she can tell it's a little bit change of scenery from our normal kitchen, but you know what? Today we're on the Texas coast and we're out chasing some monster redfish and some speckled trout and we've been killing them all morning, but it, you know, the guys got a little hungry and I'm like, hey, we're out here in the middle. We got the camera gear. Let's put together something. So with the redfish that we've caught today, we're actually going to make some redfish tacos. We're getting ready to dive in. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so ingredients, what are we gonna need? First things first, gonna need some purple cabbage. We're actually probably gonna use about half of that head of cabbage. Fresh cilantro, whole jalapeno peppers. I got some spray avocado oil. This is what I'm actually gonna be using because we're gonna be cooking on a black stone. So we're gonna use avocado oil spray so we're not making a giant mess. So corn tortillas, we're gonna fry up. Of course, don't forget our fresh redfish, some ones we caught yesterday, already filleted up. The thing about the redfish is it doesn't have to be redfish. You can use you know, tilapia for this recipe. You can use just about anything, but it's what's on hand right now. So we're gonna use some uh, redfish. We're gonna use four limes. Here, four limes. Avocado. And some Greek yogurt. We're gonna get all this mixed up. The first one that you guys are actually gonna see is for the coleslaw. It's a jalapeno coleslaw. And on the boat right in, this is gonna kind of marinate. And then we're gonna jump back over while we're at the truck, fire up the Blackstone, and we're gonna get this redfish uh, grilled up and get ready for some tacos. So check this out. Get a pen, get a paper, write it down. We're getting ready to make some coleslaw. All right, so our cabbage, first things first. I'm not gonna use this whole head of cabbage. I mean, there's only three of us here. So I'm gonna split this head of cabbage. I have cleaned this cooler off really well. So if anybody starts freaking out about that, just chill out. I mean, we're fishing, right? You gotta kind of work with what you got now. Now, when I cut this up, you can notice I'm cutting this core out here. And I got kind of just a cheap knife from the grocery store. And one thing I wanna make sure that I'm doing is I wanna cut this stuff really thin because it's gonna cure with lime juice. So instead of using vinegar or anything like that, so eighth inch, quarter inch strips is what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna get a bowl here and start throwing this in this bowl. And as you notice that, that I kind of break this up and start getting it loosened up. The thinner that you can cut this, the easier it's gonna be to cure with the lime. And this is really the start of the show, I'm gonna tell you, because when you mix it with that blackened fish, it's just really clean. It's really, really clean flavors, a lot of bold flavors in there. I'm gonna have to run my knife through this just a little bit here. Taking out some of these bigger pieces. All right. That ought to be enough coleslaw there. Okay. Next thing is my cilantro. I'm gonna do a couple things with this. I'm gonna use this as a little bit of garnishment at the end. So I'm probably gonna use maybe two thirds of this bunch. And I just wanna get a nice you know, medium chop on it. Starting to get some really nice colors like purples and greens. Then for my limes, roll your lime, get those juices. Roll that lime in the palm of your hand. It's here. Get all that in there. And we're working on a moving boat here. We're probably 15 miles from the boat ramp. Out here in the middle of Corpus Christi Bay. 
All right. So this is enough acid in here to really start breaking down that cabbage. And actually when that acid hits it too, it's, it's gonna start brightening up that purple color. Now, jalapenos, sometimes they can be sneaky, so I always wanna taste them first. Whether I need to put a lot, take the seeds out, that's about right. So, got a pretty good kick to it. Just wanna give it some of that heat in the background. I'm gonna get seeds and all in this. I'm probably gonna put two jalapenos in this. I'm probably gonna seed one. And the next one I'm probably gonna like core it out. Get all the seeds out of it. If you guys are watching this channel, and if you're new to this channel, one thing that you're gonna notice is I'm gonna be cooking all different kinds of places. It's not always just in the kitchen. We may be in the duck blind. We might have the deer lease. We might be, you never know. Might see us cooking on the street sometime. So a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. All right, next jalapeno. I'm gonna core this one out. I'm just gonna kind of slide my knife here, get that white core out. So we're just gonna get a lot of your heat out. Pop this core out. And like anything, I wanna make sure I'm getting all my pieces a lot more even. It is so stinking hot here. It's the middle of, uh, it's actually September 1st and it's still so hot in Texas. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a good mix with my hand. All right, now for some more Greek yogurt. One thing when you're picking out your yogurt, it's like anything, you wanna make sure you get your best ingredients. We stopped at a local grocery store last night and uh, got Greek yogurt, so. I'm gonna say it's probably about a cup and a half. I'm gonna start mixing this uh, in with my knife. Uh, we're kinda of limited on tools. Get all this mixed in really well. Hit it with a little bit of salt. I don't want to overdo it. I just want to coat a little bit of the cabbage. And so in the meantime, over the next hour, this is really going to start break down and have a lot more flavors going to be really released in it. I'm going to get this boxed up. I'm going to see you guys back at the boat ramp. We're going to fire up the Blackstone. We're gonna get this redfish processed and throw in a couple tacos and dig in. Give us about 15 minutes. It'll be no minutes in your time, but uh, show you how this turns out. All right, guys, so we're back at the boat ramp. Seagulls are probably already getting excited. They think we're gonna feed them, but uh, we've got the Blackstone. It's already fired up. It's getting heated up. On these redfish fillets, I don't want to just use this, in this entire fillet. So what I wanna do is, I, I gotta remember, it's gonna be in tacos, right? So the first thing I wanna do is I want to cut this rib meat out like this. Watch, check this out. Watch these seagulls. They got to eat something too, right? So think about it in the terms of what's going to fit on your taco shell. So I'm going to kind of put this in strips like this. Like that, right? So just like this, check the length of them compared to your tacos. Maybe cut it like that, like this here, perfect. All right, I'm gonna do one more because I think everybody's pretty hungry. So same thing, I wanna just cut this rib meat out. It's nothing but bones anyway. And these redfish, there are a few bones up here. Feed this to the seagulls. Come get it. 
Trim it up really nice. No bones. Couple nice strips. And cut it like this. So there's our fish fillets for our tacos. Shoot, we need to do one more because I think we're gonna eat all this. So I already got the rib meat out of this one. Same thing, just, you know, way to compare it is like chicken fajitas. You know, we all know that size, right? So that's what we probably gonna do with this. So just cutting it right down, these long strips. Blackstone's all fired up. We're gonna get this over there. I'm gonna put some unsalted Cajun seasoning on there. So it's like a blackening seasoning. That's what I wanna use. I'm, I'm against putting a ton of salt because it just overdoes it. When you use these, some of these like pre-done seasoning mixes, even like Tony's and things like that, there's a lot of salt in there and it's really hard to judge on how much salt it is. So when you just coat it down, it has a potential to just knock you down with salt. So we'll salt things afterwards uh, and let's get to the grill. You can see we're in the back of the, we're in the back of the truck. And if you guys ever see this truck, we actually call it the Dumber. Um, it's what I travel all over the countryside, duck hunting, fishing in. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of this spray avo avocado oil. Probably going to turn my heat down just a hair because it is absolutely piping right now. Coat this down. Okay, so my fish fillets. I'm going to put this down on this just to put a handful on there. And I want to give them a pretty hefty coating on this. Coat this up really nice. So it's going to cook up really fast. Fish cooks up really fast. Just want to make sure it gets nice and done, not overdone. I don't want to cook the wee out of it. It's very delicate as it starts to cook. I don't want it to fall apart. I need it together. So just gently work with it. We're going to go ahead and hit our oil again. Tortillas. Super important to kind of fry your tortillas up because they will just absolutely fall apart if you don't. Doesn't take long. Kind of time it out. All right, guys, so these are coming off here really nice. I'm gonna give these a flip. All right. Now, put a little bit of redfish here. Get that beautiful. We're gonna move right here. This is our coleslaw. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. All right. We're gonna take a little bit of this coleslaw. I'm gonna pop this right here on top. Like that. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of avocado. And I'm not getting fancy. I'm out in the middle of nowhere at a boat ramp. And a little bit of that cilantro. And last but not least, a little bit of lime to finish it out. And that's it, you have it. Black and redfish taco, boat ramp side. Absolutely awesome, I'm gonna take a big giant bite of it, see how it does. It's great. Like you're gonna get a ton of the, ton of the acid, acidity from the lime. You got a little kick from the jalapeno in there. And look at that, absolute killer. Guys, check that stuff out. Don't be afraid to cook anywhere, right? My name's Gabe Spencer. I'm The Scattered Chef. Thanks for joining me yet again. Make sure to smash on that subscribe button, share this stuff, and I appreciate you guys for watching.